All right, hello folks. Uh, hopefully this gets picked up right. Uh, let me start September's videos a little bit different. Um, keep saying um um um. I had my main cable that I've actually used for the last three four years. It finally uh, grounded out, which was a big reason why there's a lot of hum more than usual because the grounding was going so this is a generic cable with a L connector plugged into the front of the mic so I finally supported finally supported my local music store a bit more and gave it to my bud Steve gave it to me at the slightly lower price of $19.99 as you can just see there and this so this is a 15 foot um, looks like company's name is Lean or LM Pro Audio it's a professional cable which is a guitar speaker. Um, in order to deliver the best sound, you definitely need the trusted cable. Here's the answer. Lean is part of one of the biggest cable companies in the world. They spend many years of technical knowledge and life experience. Lean proudly introduces you to the world, world's finest cable, Lean Cable. Known for its highest quality performance, the aim of Lean Cable is to introduce an, an excellence of performance and even to meet demands and expectations of today's musicians. Lean wants you to feel the real sound right now, feel the real differences with Lean. We guarantee the products for a lifetime. So it's a company called Lean Pro Audio, Lean Products Company Limited. And it is designed in Korea, but made in China. So, again, gold leads, 90 degree angle, jack. So, what we're going to do then is I'm going to mute the mic so that it's not being picked up as it is right now. And... I'm just going to do like some uh, runs through the uh, pickups on the Stratocaster um, through this generic cable that you get given with like, uh, you know, generic OEM cable that you get given with uh, usually cheap guitars or whatnot. And we'll see if the 15 foot professional lean cable actually makes a difference in sound. Uh, now, oh, one more thing to note about this. The heel looks a little rough, but if you look here, I have actually um, I felt like it was a little higher than normal, so I actually went and uh, did a little bit more research on the actual pocket depth depth and what I figured out and understood is that basically from the edge of the uh, fretboard board down to the bottom of your heel uh, was 5 eighths or uh, 16 millimeters so when I actually went and measured the heel of this and a few of the other necks that I've gotten um, I realized that I'm in I'm anywhere between probably five to seven millimeters thicker so that that would explain why it sat up higher so the guitar has a little bit more of a nicer lower setting um, I think I definitely need to knock the nut back off and take a little bit more off to get down a little bit lower but seems to be functioning better and uh, again uh, E flat 
the same pretty strings that are overdue. So not only did I make the um, neck heel adjustment, but I also uh, adjusted the pickups as well because now this is lower. The strings would have been hitting on the pole pieces of the neck pickup, so I actually lowered it and it's more balanced better now. So again, uh, same, pretty much same guitar, same credit strings on it as usual, same chicken pick, and I am just going to again go neck down through bridge and uh, I'm going to do with the regular chord then I'm going to flip over and I'm going to do the professional chord and let's see if we hear any difference so um, with that said let's uh, try this and I'm going to do before I finish sorry about that folks uh, before I do I'm going to do a first patch which is my totally clean patch of the uh, classic 50 uh, then I'm going to use the classic legend patch and then I'm actually going to use my Hendrix created patch to see uh, if there's any difference in regards to um, you know patch cables and see if there actually is a difference between buying a a kind of more expensive cable or if a generic OEM cable is just as good. So now with that said, let's start it. Here we go.
Folks, I am done with the uh, demo slash samples. Uh, to those that are curious, this is the old cable that I got as a throw-in with uh, one of my guitar purchases in the past, like I think five or so years. So it's fairly thick, and uh, the brand is Rock Audio, which. I don't think I can get it to show up that well on the camera, but it's right there, Rock Audio. So, would I recommend Rock Audio Cable? Yeah. Uh, I mean, like I said, I've gotten four or five years out of this cable, so can't be wrong. And the uh, hundreds of times that I actually ran over the damn thing with the wheels from my uh, computer desk chair. <laughs> I mean, it's survived pretty good, but that said, it is going kaputs. <laughs> um, and again, there's no uh, significant markings on this OEM cable, though you can see that it is very, very th uh, thin. Uh, I did now actually find some written marking on the cable. It says high grade low noise microphone cable. Hmm. Guitar jack cable. That labeled microphone cable. Yeah, can you tell this is an OEM cable? Interesting. Where's the mic? Uh, bah, 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 bah. Can you hear me? <laughs> Anyways. Goes to the back. And uh, again. Interesting. I just was looking over this closer. And it says around here... Uh, it won't come into the camera, but it says Hot Live. And this is a 15 foot cable. Again, uh, I paid uh, $22 Canadian for it. Uh, for my, uh, my bud down at the local music store, John Stone's Music Land. Uh, this is the Leem. Studio Live Sessions Professional Cable for Guitar LSL15 for 15 footer. Uh, again, um, Lean, Pro, uh, Lean Pro Audio is a um, is a company based out of Korea. Uh, the website is www. L double e m dot c o dot k r uh, the cable is designed in korea made in china and uh, throw that there <laughs> and you can see it's not as thick as the rock audio cable but still relatively thick um, i do like the 90 degree jack I also do like the um, gold tips, those are all bonuses. These feel heavy, heavy duty compared to those on the Rock Audio. Um, 
the line here, the cabling does read along this point here, professional noiseless guitar cable, not professional noiseless microphone, <laughs> as the OEM did. So um, would I recommend these lean cables? From what I can tell, I think it was definitely uh, clearer than the uh, OEM generic cable that you get as a throw-in with most uh, guitars nowadays. Um, I don't know. Uh, you folks can uh, hear the samples now and, uh, you know, give your little uh, opinion at the end of it, or at the end of this. You can say whether you actually heard a major difference or uh, hardly any at all. Um, that said, I hope everyone's having a safe and happy long weekend here in North America. And I hope everyone has a great next week. And again, keep going with the positivity. We need to bring down the negativity that goes on in the world in this day and age something nice for somebody you know doesn't take that much effort so till then thanks for watching and I will catch you later bye for now <laughs>